We're here on the campus of Eastern Kentucky University, a seemingly idyllic institute of higher learning. The university offers programs which include mathematics, anthropology, and blunderbuss repair. At the heart of the university and of the student experience lies the John Grant Crab Library. Behind this beautiful facade, however, lies a den of horrors, a carnival of terror, a quilting bee of brutality. The number of students found dead within these walls is staggering. It is estimated that if all the dead bodies pulled from these walls were stacked together, it would be the equivalent of a large pile of stinking corpses. What, or more specifically who, is behind this, you may ask? They call themselves the Librarian Sisterhood, or at least according to the few witnesses that were willing to talk. Within these walls, nothing escapes their gaze, and no transgression goes unpunished. Their retribution is swift and always deadly. Through interviews and hidden cameras, we've begun to knock together a macrame of the macabre. What you're about to see is not for the faint of heart. Join me, Rupert Van Witherbottom, for our expose, The Librarian Sisterhood. You've just been withdrawn. If I understand you correctly, Madam Oisel, you were a member of the Librarian Sisterhood, and that you come to us now at great personal peril. Tell me, what prompted this pilgrimage to our production? Well, to be honest, I first joined the Sisterhood because I thought it was the Jelly of the Month Club. It was only when I was forced to help dispose of a patron's body that I realized what the group was really about. Why didn't you simply go to the local constabulary with this informationo? I feared for my life. The motto of the Sisterhood is ink in, blood out. <laughs> no one crosses them and lives to tell about it. So why open up about it now? I just can't sleep anymore. The guilt is eating me up inside. The things I've witnessed are truly terrible. An example, please? Well, this one time... There are no patterns for my cape in here. It's called the Book of Smocking, but it doesn't tell you how to smock. Having trouble reading? No. Oh. Why do you have me tied up down here? Oh, I've noticed that you've had some trouble reading, so I'm here to help you with that. Uh, no! No! If I were to take the time to tell you about each time that I think of you, I would spend all my time telling you about thinking of you. That wasn't so bad. Oh, that was just the warm-up. Rocket ships are exciting, but so are roses on a birthday. Computers are exciting, but so is a sunset. No! No! Anything but that! Help! You mean so much to me. I wish there could be a cushion following you wherever you go to be there in case you should fall. I won't do that. Ah, I hate Star Trek! I hate poetry! Help! Kill me now! Oh, that can be arranged! Yeah! Good gravy! That is indeed monstrous! Oh, it gets worse. This other time...
watermelons. Nah, it's okay. I'm in the library. I know. Well, I mean, if it was like four, that would have been. Uh, <laughs> I know. No, that was the night before last. This time we have to leave early. I know. <clears throat> you better be. Before I can load you up at 3 a.m. in the stupid morning. Would you please come? Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Hold on. Yeah? Would you please come with me? I don't want to leave my stuff. Oh, where you're going, you don't need stuff. Determined to get some footage of the dastardly deeds. What follows will curdle your blood and will turn your kidneys inside out. Hello, hi. Can I check these out, please? Sure, can I see your ID? Um, sure. Let's see. Give me just a second. Um, having trouble seeing in here. Here, no. let, let me help you. Ah, my eyes! Oh, look. I found it. Too bad you can't read any of these anymore. Hi, uh, do you guys have a bathroom in here? Shockingly enough, we have two sets of bathrooms. Just down the hall and to your right. You'll see it. Just down? Yeah. Go. Okay. Thanks. Rub a dub dub, one man in the tub. something for me. 
I got it. Madam Dean, surely you're aware of the unusually large death rate in your library. I am certain, Mr. Witherbottom. I have no idea what you're talking about. Come now. Treat me not like a fool. You must know of the organization which truly runs this library. Mr. Witherbottom, I and I alone am in charge of what happens within these walls. Oh, really? Well then, Madam Dean, how do you explain this? See, this unfortunate soul is being drowned in the loo. That is dreadful. I had always heard the library at UK was full of ruffians. Miss mm. Dean, as a man of science, I must take umbrage with your willful ignorance. Don't pretend you don't recognize one of your own employees performing this dastardly deed, or that they are a member of the Librarian Sisterhood. I have no further comment on the matter, Mr. Witherbottom. I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to leave. <laughs> Despite the denials of the duplicitous Dean, we knew we had the goods on these ladies. One simply could not argue with the footage obtained displaying these atrocious atrocities. On the strength of this evidence, the messenger, along with the head cheese, were sent to federal prison, although both vowed that no prison could hold them. As for Bruiser, she managed to escape the net authorities threw up to catch her. These photos, believed to be of this at-large fugitive, were taken near a border crossing in southwest Tejas. If you have any information as to her whereabouts, please contact the local authorities. Following an anonymous tip, promising insider information, and free moon pies. Ah, the free moon pies I was promised. Where are all the moon pies? Ah, he can treachery. Oh, the humanity for science. <laughs> Hehehehe! <laughs>